Hello everyone, this is Dar here with another video. This is another unboxing video. I hope this is better now than it, what it was before because there was another view in the, my bedroom here, but it was a bit dark. I think man, because the fact is I had my curtains close at the time, therefore it was a bit too dark for to see a lot. And um, they're open a bit now just to get some light in though because this light here, the light up there, I have on in my room is kind of crap. So just to get some bit some sunlight in, of course, um, since it's pretty much a nice day. Anyway, this is another unboxing video, so it is that I wanted to do because it's for a game that's out, you know, tomorrow here, and felt lucky enough that just yesterday that it was announced that it would be getting a North American release sometime during the summer. So and it'll be published by Exceed. Um, so which are pretty much like sort of kind of big publisher over there that pretty much publish a lot of games that never, probably never see the light of day otherwise they kind of some obscure Japanese games or whatever it's some like you know RPGs and the like it's kind of like our sort of their first are like Rising Star games which we get they publish some games that would probably never have seen the light of day over here either but anyway enough about that um, it's of course last story limited edition box. I think it's a bit too bright now. There you go. So it is. Um, this is of course another. It's another Mistwalker game. So it is. Um, I played the previous two console Mistwalker efforts, Blue Dragon for the Xbox 360 and Lost Odyssey for the Xbox 360. So it's quite interesting to see that they for this time round that they actually you know switched over. And I believe there was a there was a DS game that was done by Miss Walker as well, but I don't know if it was actually ever released outside of Japan. But I actually forget the name of it, but I think there was one. So it was released a couple of years ago. But anyway, let's get going here. As you can see, lovely artwork on the front though. Pretty big box you can see in the back. Lovely artwork. As you can see, kind of bright, yep, I know. Yeah, it's a bit too dark this time around, it's a bit too bright, so if we just get right, you can see the artwork anyway, and you can see the back there anyway, so, anyway, open this up. Anyway, first of all, is the book, just the manual, so, you don't really care about it anyway, so, this is a big chunky book, it has probably the thing in, you know, several different languages, of course, so it is. Next is the steel case, which looks very nice with the lovely artwork there. So it is, you can see, and um, there's it there. It says, I'm hitting up Busakaguchi game music by Nobu Uematsu. So, you know, those guys like to collaborate together. They pretty much did in the first bunch of Final Fantasy games. So they have, and they pretty much have done the same, like it's in Mistwalker as well, since they started um, Mistwalker. And so you go, nice, nice artwork, so it is there, lovely artwork, let's see what the case, inside the case looks like, looks really nice, it's just pretty much a illustration of I think the city in the game. Um, I haven't really been looking up a whole lot of it now, I kind of just wanted to see the comments with a, you know, fresh mind though, but like I was looking, I seen like gameplay footage though, but I don't know the whole, you know, story or, you know, different characters and things like that now, so, um, as I said, but I can know seeing gameplay and looks pretty cool. Of course, just the game itself, so you know what you're getting here. No need to open it up, just open it up anyway. Oops, thinking what you're getting there. Just a manual, now I get manual. <laughs> it's kind of weird that there's, there's one there, you get one there, and there's another one there. Like, I think that might be, you know, it's probably the English one or something, and those other ones are, you know, for the different languages. But anyway, that's all you get there. And next, so the thing is a lovely little box that you get here, Elements of the Last Story, so it is, lovely artwork. And the back it just basically shows you what's in it, it's the premium soundtrack, sorry for rubbing my eye, it's got Scratchy, and the last story, the illustrations. So let's open this up, so it is, and take this out. First of all is the last story, the illustrations, which is a little, to start, a little hardback art book. Um, so it is, you can see a little artwork here, lovely artwork, it's always nice to see the lot, like concept art and things like that there from games, um, so it is, and 
from what I've seen though, it does it very a lot really has a similar look to Xenoblade Chronicles, so it does it kind of looks the same. But of course, it's like in the Wii game as well, but it has that same sort of you know Japanese style. It's just basically the different characters now. It's pretty much that's what most of it is though anyway. Just basically their character art and you know equipment and things like that there. So anyway, that's it. Nice anyway. And finally, it's the last story premium soundtrack which is basically just seven tracks picked by Nobu Matsu himself um, from the soundtrack from the you know the soundtrack of the game now and I'm pretty sure there's probably original soundtrack available you know in Japan and you can probably get it somewhere anyway though but it's always nice to see the, you know these things anyway and um, because there was the same kind of thing as well with Xenoblade though and um, I think if you registered or something on the Club Nintendo you would be able to download the then it was soundtrack with had a bunch of tracks from the game itself as well so pretty cool indeed and um, just open this up just to see what it looks like and soundtrack's pretty much golden it's kind of like Zelda or something um, so that's pretty much all there is to it just wanted to show you what the contents anyway are of the game and um, I'm very much looking forward to playing it though anyway um, Early thoughts and reviews, I've seen like I've seen a review of it there today, which got it got an 8 out of 10. And I think a lot, just by feedback, I think a lot of some other people I think it's going to be a really enjoyable game. And it's actually not supposed to be very long, it's supposed to be really around like 30 hours or so, which is kind of perfect though. So it is, because sometimes you do enjoy RPGs, but sometimes they do tend to go overly long. Some of them tend to, you know, kind of you know, lose its focus, it's kind of lose, you know, its greatness or whatever during like the more you play it or though, just kind of, I forget the term, I'm just drawing a blank at the moment now, so I am, um, but that's pretty much all, so thank you for watching, you know, I'll go, I'm off to play this game now, and if you like this video, subscribe, and just feel free to put a comment below, you know, what to do, same old, same old stuff. So anyway guys, take care, this is Dow signing out and I will see you all next time. I will probably do a, probably what I've been playing video though because there's a, I want to talk about Final Fantasy 13 too a bit though and a few other games that I've sort of been playing recently as well. Um, so anyway guys, take care and I'll see you next time. So ciao.